Hello and welcome to Water Cooler episode. I don't, I don't know. Once again, happy Friday though. Thanks so much for uh, coming to hang out with us on this lovely day. This is a show where I, Chris Loxamon, hang out with my cruel digital buds, drink some brews, and kick it Philly slash quarantine style. With me today, Kalen Beans here. What's going on? Uh, making his triumphant return. Yeah, sorry for my absence on Wednesday. It's okay. How are you feeling? Uh, uh, I'm feeling a bit better now. Um, luckily, none of like the symptoms I was having were related to COVID. It was something else, but uh, I'm feeling I'm feeling better today. So what were the symptoms? That's bad gas. Yeah. Like fart yeah. a little bit. No, I was like um, really oh, hot, anal. really hot, and uh, like clammy and sweaty, and dizzy, so normal. Just tired all the time, which were yeah. all the symptoms. Those are Ferris Bueller I, symptoms, bro. <laughs> well, those are all the symptoms I had with my blood clot. Okay. And uh, 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 I've had a, a weird feeling in my leg the past uh-huh. couple of days, which is very unsettling. Same leg. So, same leg. Um, so that was very. Uh, that was making me super nervous. So, luckily, I'm not sweating so much anymore, but I still feel something in my leg, and I'm very tired. So, I'm a little oh, nervous still. So you're still nervous? Sounds like you got to get that nervous. checked out. Hold on, not to pull the curtain back too much, but Kaylin and I were speaking just as friends off of a recording, and you told me you didn't get any sleep last night. Yeah, well, that's because of the baby. <laughs> well, that might be contributing to the tired part. Mm. This has been happening for days. All right. All right. Yeah, come on, Gary. <laughs> trying to be positive. You know what, Dawson? Yeah. I, I mean, are you in touch with your doctor? Hold I mean, on. You I know what, like Dawson? This... I, I was going to wait to drop this, but... What? Fuck you, Dawson. <laughs> Fuck you, Dawson. Guys. Fuck you, Dawson. I don't think I have that version. You don't. This is a new one. Oh, God. <laughs> Casey Peters, thank you very much. Matt, I love it. I want it. Up, so. I love it, too. Wow. Well, let me introduce the rest of the guys. Matt Fondelier is here. Hey, brother. Fuck you, Matthew. Oh. Fuck you, Matthew. Not really mad at Matt, so I'll, I'll cut that one a little early. <laughs> Gary's <laughs> here. I'm fucking joking around. Up, dude? <laughs> Mike Dawson's here. Hey, I don't want to fill you with more dread for more work that you're going to have to do when this is all over, but you do realize the day is coming where you're going to once again do math in multiples of 69s. Oh, yeah. yeah. Know. One day. Not, not during these shows. Um, I and, uh, yeah, and, and I, Chris Locks him on, I'm here. That's what I hey, hanging on. <laughs> He's here, though. He's here, folks. That's what I thought. Oh. Happy Friday, Chris. Happy Friday. What are you guys drinking? Uh, I am drinking a beer called White Rascal. Oh. In hey. honor of my favorite White Rascal, Kalen Bean. Hey. And, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a Belgian-style wit beer. And so in connection with today's show and tell, I've decided to drink it out of my uh, beer stein that I got in Amsterdam. Oh, which uh, wow. the, I have only drank beer out of this. This might be like the second or third time ever in history. So nice. just, uh, you know, cheers to you, Kale, and feel better. Thank yeah. you. And a momentous occasion that Matt has decided to drink beer out of that particular mug. Yeah, no cans for me, man. I know this is this is, this is weird, but uh, I'm happy you're doing it. I know we have show and tell today, which I'm really excited about. Yep. Do you watch anything, Kale? Is there a flick in today, too? Yeah, I got a quick flick and I can do. A, qu- a quick quicken. Flick, quicken, yeah. And, and uh, Matt, this do you have a shay? brought to you by Quicken. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, I do not because uh, that's about food experiences and there have been no food experiences to be had. That's true. Well, well I, we've eating. been cooking a lot. There, there is eating. Yeah. Yeah. That's technically. Uh, I, mean, I had some toast this morning. There you go. Flick it. <laughs> yeah, flickable? <laughs> Man, that's what's on the menu. Yeah, I don't know. There's there ain't much happening in the culinary world right now. Um, my wife is talking about making some strawberry bunt cakes for dessert. Yeah, a little later on this weekend, which could be pretty dope. But that has not happened yet, so I'll have to report a little later on that. A lot of baking going on. Usually, when you're going oh, yeah. strawberry and cake, you go short, not bunt. Yep. Well, my wife likes to do things a little bit crazy. Why is it a shortcake? I have no idea, Matt. No idea. What is the length implying? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. I've never had long cake before. You never had long no, cake. It has to be. It's shorted on something, maybe. Yeah. 
it's with know. shortening. She goes with ah. shortening. Yeah. yeah. Why is it called shortening? Oh, we don't have to. We don't have to dive into the origin of every <laughs> word that we say in the water cooler. That's not what this show is about. It's just us no, hanging not. and kicking it and flicking kicking it, it and and quicking it. Kalen. Yeah. I'm excited, man. I've I don't know what to watch anymore. I just watched the uh, Unorthodox on Netflix. Oh, okay. I've seen previews for that. I haven't watched it. <laughs> I liked it. Yeah, okay. It's just, it's a four. It's easy. It's an easy watch. It's four yeah. episodes. And, uh, Is it like Jewish a documentary? People? It's the the thing that they're leaving the orthodox lifestyle. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it is. Is it so, documentary or no? No, it's a it's a scripted fiction. It's scripted, scripted oh, series. I, it, I think it's based off of a memoir. Okay. It, I know it is based off a of memoir, but um, but yeah, it's a it's scripted. It's good, and uh, and I was able to watch it. But Kalen, what are you going to be flicking? Uh, today I'm going to be flicking a show that Matt. Uh, turned me on to called Lock and Key on Netflix. Ah, right. I yeah. look forward to that, Chris. Uh, I'm sure very different, but I also started watching a show about the Jewish people last night, Hunters on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly very different or spinoff. I'm not sure. You have to watch Probably Hunters. different, but I don't know. I haven't gotten to the end yet. <laughs> they all meet together at the end. Uh, Kaylin, all right, let's, let's see some Lock and Key flicking then. All right. Well, uh, it's a 10 episode series on Netflix. Uh, right now it's got a 66% of the Rotten Tomatoes critics and a 70 with the audience. Um, Oh man, that's low. Yeah, I think it's, no, that's, that's fresh. Um, it has all kind of relatively unknowns in it. You won't really recognize any of the, uh, actors. Um, it's about this family that after their dad was murdered, they, uh, moved back into his like house that he grew up in, which mm-hmm. is kind of like a mansion type deal. And, um, they come to find that there are these keys hidden throughout the, the property that have like special powers and you can use the keys for various different reasons. And it's honestly, it's kind of like a show meant for teenagers, but the, it's 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 pretty entertaining. Um, I, it definitely had me going the whole way through. There's some really annoying parts in it. Just spoiler alert: some decisions that the characters make that are uh, obviously the ones that they shouldn't be making, but they have to move the story along. So you kind of forgive them for some really stupid decisions that they make. But you know, it's got magic and suspense, and uh, it's, it's 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 not bad. I, I'd recommend it. I mean, I'd recommend so many other shows before it, but with all the shows that everyone's watching these days. Um, it's definitely entertaining. Um, and uh, yeah, I would recommend at least checking it out. If you go through like two episodes and you're not into it, probably wouldn't be into the show. Uh, the finale is a little, you can kind of guess what's coming for the most part, or at least I did. So I thought that that part wasn't uh, too great. I was hoping for more of a twist, but uh, yeah, I'd say it's uh, it's pretty all right. Is the best way that I can. Oh, Ooh, wow. uh, so it's applicable. a good company then. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 6.2 out of 10. 6.2. That sounds a little mm-hmm. less than pretty all right. Yeah. That sounds pretty all right to me. Uh, I'm watching. Now, now like I don't like what people call this show pretty all right. Table. I dig it. It's cool. It's, I, like the, uh, I like the premise. Uh, sure. so you, did you it's watch fun. it yet, It's Dawson? a fun show. Yeah. Yeah, this show, this show, this show is a 6.2 out of 10. I'd give it higher uh, than that. I didn't call this show pretty all right. Oh, that's right. What's okay? Record. That's actually a very thoughtful, a thoughtful score. I think that's correct. I'll take I think it. it. Yeah, actually. I think that's very on the money. Yeah, I think that's still above average. Uh, Gary, how's everything with you? Good, man. Busy. Um, yeah, it's uh, still still a lot of work to be had for sure. Um, but yeah, busy uh, trying to keep the kiddo busy as well We're on a nice long walk with him this morning so his uh, mother could get some work done but mm-hmm. uh yeah everything's good man how about you are we are we getting any sort of residual from uh or or from chunk nibbles are we getting anything from them for for all the business we're sending their way because i'm seeing it now even i'm seeing it well if you check your email you'll see that there's probably there's a request for home addresses in there that may or may not be related and uh we'll we'll see when we get i was i was just trying to be a dick but wow i'm in (laughs) well uh, we'll we'll see if we can get more into that when we get to show and tell oh Oh, that's a tease i can't wait and dawson how's everything with you life is good worked on the audiobook with adam today um went to the grocery store 
with a bandana over my face, which is the fucking weirdest thing. It's fucking weird. You have a picture? Yeah. No. You didn't take a selfie? Wait. Bandana selfie? I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no, I didn't. Man, I didn't weird. take a selfie. So is how's there the girl like on Instagram? Idea? What's that? I still like Dawson's idea of somebody going into a bank with one of those things on. Seriously. And then just robbing the bank. At I mean, perfect time. look, this is, the, this is the best time if you're a, a robber. A bank robber. Oh, yeah, any robber. Yeah, it's hold up any, anywhere. It's like, you, you never know. God, if I, was a, if I was a cashier at one of those liquor stores, I'd be scared of everybody walking in. You never know. I'm Where's finishing up my next audio book, and I'm at the part where I just get to – turn it up really loud and listen because everything's in place all the gates the way it's going to finally sound it's still got to send it through some processing that takes you gets rid of mouth clicks and shit like that but um so i just turn it up really loud and i find the cool music on extreme music uh-huh and so it's a lot of hip-hop shit i actually told rich to go through and pick a whole bunch of tracks and um so I'm bouncing down the audio track only, but listening through and setting up the musical intros to the, to the chapters that set oh, yeah, up yeah. chapter. And then yeah. I just let it run. And if I hear something that tweaks me, I got to stop it and go in and clean up a little something, but then go on and keep recording. And it's freed me up to just clean the shit out of this room. I have to stay in here and actively listen Right. But I don't have to just sit down. So I've dusted. I've rewired some components. Oh, uh, nice. I can't find the PlayStation video games that Gary donated. I grabbed a bunch of them like three years ago, like a Tiger Woods Golf. Um, as soon as I can find that, then I should be done cleaning by then. And then I can just sit here and play Tiger Woods Golf while, while oh, I do that. But Nice. Um, That's life, man. It's dream. nice, dude. This is living. It's a nice little, nice little uh, avenue I've carved out for myself. I'm, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Yeah, of course. And uh, yeah, I remember earlier this week, Dawson showed me his newfangled clean studio, pushes his chair to the side and uh, proceeds to show us how much room he has for activities. Oh, jumping jacks. So much room for activities. Dancing. <laughs> yeah, he was doing it all. Look at Oh, he's getting up right now. Uh, if you want. Oh, what are, the, what are you doing? What is that? Look at all that we can do. All right. If anybody wants to see this, check it out on YouTube. You want to see Dawson dancing like a spaz? Yeah. Like a stepbrother. Dawson's a good dancer. I've seen him. He likes to dance, which I like. I've seen it. I've danced yeah. it a few times. The Liar. Mav. Liar. You I and I will always have the Mavericks. We did. I actually, I think I broke one of my shoes at Gary's wedding. <laughs> That's how hard you were dancing. That's you how hard I was You dancing. burned the shoe off, basically. Yep. Yep. That's quite Amazing. the compliment. I hope I would. Well, it's, either, it's either I was dancing hard or I just buy cheap shoes. You pick. I, yeah, I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. So. <laughs> I, would, I would hope for nothing less at mine, at my wedding. A broken shoe. I'd just like to find a piece of a shoe. Speaking of your wedding, how's your, uh, how's your life going with your fiance? <laughs> it's good. Oh, uh, we're just, yeah, we're just oh, still kind of just. Queen. Oh, what? Corn queen. Corn, my corn queen. Yes. Uh, we're, it's good. We're just trying to um, stay positive about the whole thing, and we haven't really made any major moves. But if it does happen to be pushed a couple months, that's fine. We're not. Yeah, we're not. Uh, part of married to that date. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so it's like, yeah. Look, look, Matt gets it. Um, <laughs> But right now we're just kind of staying put. We're not making any big movements, any sudden movements, as a uh, as this is the all happening. Movements. Yeah, or just kind of just easier marriage. Just yeah, no, fun. no sudden movements, at least for now. And then, as, as I said, this thing is is really unraveling uh, day by day, week by week. So we're just kind of just riding it for now. And then, if we need to make any big decisions, at least we won't it won't catch anybody by surprise. We'll just. But we see. But uh, the save the dates. We we haven't sent them out. We were supposed to, and we've been holding back. And now we don't even know what's going to happen with them yet. So. Well, good news is nobody's got any plans. So you really yeah. don't need to tell us to save the date. They're all pretty right, point. right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's all it's all toss a toss up now. Um. In in the future, but I, I'll let you guys know as soon as uh, as soon as we do. But right now everything is still staying the course. So. 
Kalen, what about you? You you have some you have some big news. I mean, obviously you reveal. Oh God, are you pregnant you, again? Again? <laughs> you show yeah, and exactly. tells. Uh, but what's it like preparing for a baby at this at this day and age? Um. Well, we you know we just we just did that, so we're just doing it again. Same um, thing. It's just the same thing. Yeah, we just did it, so we're kind of used to Nothing's it. Nothing's different. No, not really. <laughs> Yeah. Aside from there actually being a baby around while we do it, but that's about it. It's yeah, nothing too exciting going on. All right, I always I, I always hear the second one's easier. I mean, I won't I don't see why one wouldn't be, but I mean, even if you're juggling another another baby who is now standing, don't juggle your babies. Let's be clear <laughs> about that. Yeah, you, you're not, not juggling. You're not literally idea. juggling her, are you? I mean, if you got three, yeah. You need at least Still one have more. Another for, one is what you're saying. You need Pretty one cool. more baby that, well, after one more, so this one them. for a legit really juggle. juggle. We won't count it as a regular as a juggle That's if you only have two babies. Right. <laughs> I yeah. think if you wait too long, me again, I I would say generally I'm very anti baby juggling, but just feeding into this premise, if you're going to juggle three babies. You better make sure that you have that third kid pretty soon, or your first kid is going to be like nine years old yeah. when you're trying to juggle. Oh. It's not going to work. You can juggle juggling? two babies. Keep that in mind. If you juggle with a bowling ball, okay, then you can. Then it's okay. You can still juggle the two babies. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hey Gary, two can I just borrow your ball. baby, and then I can? And then that would work, right? That would totally Here work. Here we go. Borrow baby. There you baby. go. That that's definitely an idea. You should, uh, <laughs> yeah. you should ask Roya, or, or maybe you <laughs> can borrow the pouchy cat. <laughs> that's a bowling ball cat's too heavy oh, dude. all right that's <laughs> too, asking for trouble that's what, that's what we uh, 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 that's the service we need borrow a baby borrow a baby, baby. Yeah. borrow a baby for stuff wow yeah that's, that's not, not gonna backfire at all laws no? yeah. million dollar idea yeah. thought of it yeah. definitely There's no amber alerts coming up on that one no i feel like this is a time that we're all learning about each other does anyone here know how to juggle yes well, Dawson, there's plenty of room there. Get some room of stocks. More than two things. Oh, oh. Like cassette tapes. Dawson could juggle. Dawson could juggle. He could definitely throw things in the air. I don't know if, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, he, oh, yeah. Whoa. All right. That's really good. That's way better right than here. I could ever do. Oh, I think that was pretty good considering that those are not like similar <laughs> objects. That are all Wall the and two way. lighters. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was that was some good offset juggling. That was like a baby, a seven-year-old, and a cat. A -old. And a right. cat, yeah, a fat cat. <laughs> so worked yeah, out. You don't you don't want any part of this smoke. We That's should we, <laughs> we should uh, do a talent show sometime on Zoom. Like instead of a show and tell, we'll do a talent show. <laughs> oh God! I don't have three of any of the same thing in this room. So super. It's more impressive like that it. you're using things that are not the same. Yeah, I think so too. And I'm giving you a pass that it, you only got, you know, 10 seconds or so because they're all different. That yeah. is true. That More is of a pass. Because that, that's definitely harder. Any juggler will tell you. Yeah. And lastly, Matt, checking in on you. What's going on, my friend? Oh, you know, just living the dream. No, everything's totally exactly as it has been. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, do editing podcasts, chatting with Adam on the phone yelling at the tile guy to get the fucking tile to Adam, you know, <laughs> signing things with Adam's name on it that aren't mine and then scanning it, you know, the usual daily tasks. Nothing yeah. has changed. Nothing exactly. has changed. I know. We're um, still, we're still working. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, as everyone knows, cause I talk about it a lot, I'm working on my true crime stuff. So I'm in the middle of, I'm like on hour 10 listening Ooh. to what's probably hour 50 of a trial, just everything at two X and kind of clicking around and trying to find compelling audio, which takes, like I said, 10 hours and not finding much. So it's a little nerve wracking, but so you seek out these stories and then pitch it into the company <clears throat> and then they say, yay or nay. Yeah, exactly. You just gotta find, you just like search the internet for some crazy story, hope that there's a lot of audio to support it. And then you pitch it. Ooh, my dog's excited about something. Um, and then, uh, I mean, I would say of the 10 stories wow. I've pitched, eight of them have become episodes. Every once in a while, he's wow. like, I don't really want to do an episode like that right now. But most of the time, he wow. just says, yeah, go for it. And then wow. you just go wow. for it. Is there, part of crazy. You, is there a part of you that's worried about uncovering new evidence on a case? 
and mm. it becoming a part of the story. And now, I don't know. I, I literally, I, I, we've been watching so much Dexter at home that yeah. this is this is my brain now. We're now you're you're in it. Uh, the thought has occurred to me, but I would say certainly the stories that I've chosen to work on, they're not breaking cases. They're stories that have some sort of formative conclusion. So it's not like there's new evidence to uncover. But yeah, I've had that thought if I were to like take on some breaking case, of course, that's like a weird dark fantasy. I don't, yeah. I don't want to have that if, happen. If something like that happens, I want you to pull me aside and tell me, Chris, I have to tell you something. Nobody's ever going to believe me. And then I'm just going to say, no, I don't want to know. And I'll walk away right. just because that way I won't get killed uh, be, for being part of it. But at the same time, <laughs> I know that you did it. What, what yeah, is this one about, Matt? <laughs> What's the, can you give us um, any that's, details? That's proprietary information, Dawson. Oh, um, that's bullshit. No, it's like a, it's like a crazy, uh, it's like quadruple murder. It's like a, okay. a guy went, effing crazy and killed uh his wife and her family very very brutally and uh i mean that's like kind of the basis of the case where's but, the crazy part yeah um well they were uh well i, see, I can't give away too much i feel weird giving away too much okay of the story. you don't have to no, that's cool. he, he did a lot of weird things afterward that are very unique i wouldn't say they're like disgusting they're just like some strange things that you would think if you just killed a bunch of people, it, you would try to just – I don't know what you do when you do something like that, but, you know, you don't stick around. Okay, you don't, have, this guy you don't have to tell us the exact story, but just give me this at least. If this story was a movie, what would its title yes. be? Oh, good question. I have to think about that. And who, come, who come back to me killer? later. All right. Come back to me later. I'll come back to I can to answer both later. of those later. I'll try to think of it. All right. Let's get some show and tell in then, guys. I'm curious to see what you have. Gary just reached for something, so he's ready. Matt already previewed his. Oh, get Gary reached for white his claw. Sorry. Great. <laughs> Gary oh, wins. Game over. It's not my show and tell, but actually, I'm gonna go grab another beer to put into my. Okay, staff, go do so that. I'm I'm gonna be right back. That's right. Okay, and then Kalen, I see my guitar back there in uh, my old office. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see Kalen's dad just above him. Yeah. I, Kalen is a, a painting a of his dad. And then, and then, uh, yeah, Dawson, you, you ready to go too? We'll wait for Matt to get back before we do this. Cause I don't want anybody to miss anybody's show and tell. It's only, yeah, fair. I'm ready whenever. I don't even think, what do I, I got a good one. I got, I got, I got a, a different one. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay. You're not, you're not certainly would, would, would never think of it. Really, There's a story that goes with it, and I want to tell you the story and show you what I yeah. got that I'm so happy that I finally got, and the the travels, the endurance run that I went through to make this product appear at my doorstep were stupendous. So heavy on the tell in Dawson Show and Tell. I yeah, guess. well, it's still a good show. Yeah, a lot of tell, but it's, it's an interesting show. show. All right, so let, let's do this. Who wants to go first? Kalen. Kalen. All right. Well, as you can see, I'm still in my office. I'm not at home. Yeah. So some more things what? that I line my office desk with are my little action figures that I have to show you. Do you the have first one. Wow, he's just showing us more toys. <laughs> <than that. laughs> so lazy. This little Joker doll. That one I don't really like so much, honestly. I don't really care about this one. Yeah, show this it one, huh? Kalen. Kaylin, I have a question for you. Morbo this from Futurama. Very simple question. Am I muted? Can you hear no. me? You're, you're, <laughs> Kaylin's just ignoring you. <laughs> I, I was in the middle of my show. And I was yeah, he's doing his show and tell. Right, you're interrupting me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Morbo from Kaylin, Futurama. For you. Signed <laughs> by Billy West. <laughs> Come on. Pretty good. I like it. Okay. Next one. Bird person. Oh, where'd you get that oh, one? Nice, nice, dude. I actually, I think I bought this for Chris, and then he had only wanted it, so I just took it. That, is that what happened? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what happened. But uh, I thought I gave that to you. That's why. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, wait. I was going to say, Chris, you, weird flex. You gave on me this one. <laughs> you got two bird persons. I have two bird person. 
Chris I gave, gave me this one. Thank this you. one I gave Chris, but he didn't want it, so I just wow. took it. <laughs> nice. And then the last and final one, which is the best. Oh, what? Eisenberg. Wait. Personally signed by Brian Cranston. <laughs> wow. That's cool. See, that's the cool. I had him sign it. That's right. awesome. That's yeah. cool. Oh, Kaelin coming out of the gate strong. Boom. At least you don't tell, but very nice. Nice job, Kaelin. You know, eventually when we're doing this show, you're going to run out of shit on your desk to show us. <laughs> I got a lot of shit on here. Most of it's yours, though. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're going to start showing my stuff. I'm going to start showing your stuff. Well, Kaelin, this is what I was going to ask you. You are going home. You're not living at the studio, right? Uh, only, only a couple of days a week I live here, and then I go okay. home. Yeah. But sometime between now and next Friday when we do show and tell, you are going to be at your house at some point in the next week, right? Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. Bring something from home. <laughs> you know? My work stuff mix, is better than anything I have at home. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Let's go to Dawson. Dawson, what do you have to show uh, and tell? Well, about a year ago. Um, an ad flashed up on one of the web, web pages I was on for this, for Doc Martin's boots. And they had this one kind of boot that was there and it was really fucking cool. Okay. So I checked it out and it wasn't available. It sold out, discontinued, whatever. I kept trying, I kept looking, you know, cause this ad keeps popping up. It was an awesome pair of boots and I really, really wanted a pair. And uh, I went as far as to email customer service at drmartins.com. And I got into a back and forth with one of their customer service dudes. And he's like, yeah, I don't know what to tell you, man. Those are gone and we're never making them again. I'm like, well, is there a store? No, all the stores sent ours back. We threw them in the incinerator. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, these are the greatest fucking boots I've ever fucking seen. Yeah. Well, the other day, a couple weeks ago, that same fucking ad for the same fucking pair of boots that are all in the incinerator appeared on my thing again. And I just fucking click on it, ready to be disappointed. Lo and behold, there's one pair in my size. I'm breaking them in. But Ooh. these are the classic docks, laceless, with a side zip. Those are fucking boots. Nice. That's classy. I'm nice. very fucking happy with these, and I have to wear them now like for the next, like, fucking month, which quarantine is great. They won't look like new shoes anymore. But I'm wearing these damn things every day. I'm going to build a rock wall tomorrow with them on. Ooh. And, um, yeah, anyway. I went through a lot. I went yeah. through a lot to get these get these boots, but uh, let that be a lesson to you. You know, Persist, Dawson. Even when they I love tell it. you there is no hope. You know, That's Dawson just did. Is he? Uh, he's that kid in class. It's his turn to do his uh, show and tell, and he forgot to bring something, so he woke up. He was I just took his shoe off. Class, <laughs> takes his shoe off and goes, "Here's my, uh, here's my shoe." Yeah, you yeah. got me. By the way, that That's story's good. made up, right? I'm not the only yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> not even a true story. Um, <laughs> you wouldn't believe what I had to go through to get this particular uh, sneaker. Right. <laughs> in front of your computer right can you see if you can find those online and plentiful <laughs> <laughs> that was very good dawson as for <coughs> me I'll, I'll go next uh mine is as ever as a lot of you guys know i sold my playstation because uh, i i got too addicted yeah i didn't want to uh I was playing it too much, and I, I didn't like how much I was playing it, so I sold it. But I still have one console left. And this is a gift made to me uh, by White Kevin Hart, Chris Atkins. Oh, and this is awesome. I'm holding it right here. This is a, uh, as you look, it's a Nintendo cartridge. It's Excitebike. In the, in the original case, it's an actual cartridge. But what Chris Atkins did is because... These, you know, everything's just gone so much smaller. You can actually fit a whole Nintendo console with games into like a microchip now. And so he does, he took this thing apart and he put a whole Nintendo, basically just uh, the, the, the insides of a Nintendo, like the, the entire uh, guts of one, 
into here with games included and then just put like the hdmi and the usb and the power oh, source at the shit. bottom That's so awesome. you would just you plug the hdmi into the tv and you can plug your controls into here, or they're blue, but they are Bluetooth, so that's actually just wireless. And that's have these wireless controls, and this Nintendo cartridge full of Nintendo games that wow. I could play. That's and it's awesome. all Amazing. this size. I will be honest; it is very rare that I get jealous of somebody. When wow. I saw that gift from White Kevin Hart, I was legitimately jealous. That thing is freaking awesome. I love is it. it. Like so, all the games, how many yeah. games are on there? You could just load. Like, you could load up a whole library. You could yeah, it's you could like, load up a whole library of games. Yeah, you can just download all the, you know, those emulator games you can find online for free. You got Super Tecmo Bowl on that? Yeah, Super. You fit a whole Nintendo and a bunch of games. Like, it would take up half this room what is in this, like back when Nintendo That's came amazing. out. amazing. So, it's, it's impressive. <clears throat> I have a Nintendo, and I'm excited, and I love playing Punch-Out. Best Nintendo game ever. Don't at me. All right, and that's <laughs> There's my show. That's tell. good. Let's go All with right. Matt next. I know he gave us a little preview, but explain yourself. Yes. All right. So uh, I was lucky enough to take a, a European vacation when I uh, first graduated college. One of my buddies was teaching English in Prague and had been living in Europe for a while and kind of knew how to travel Europe on a shoestring budget. And I went to go join him for a couple of weeks and maybe six days into this trip was our arrival into Amsterdam. And part of this being on a budget is there was no hotel that night. We were just on a bus from, I don't remember where it was like Copenhagen, I think just overnight bus ride. So exhausted getting into Amsterdam at like 6 AM, just dropped our shit off at a hostel walking around the city and I know uh, Laura Lee listens to this, but yeah. listen, in Amsterdam, there's a certain plant that was legal at the time. And I was very excited to have a, a joint plant. of said item. They have these things called coffee shops in Amsterdam. Laura Lee's and, not that naive. The last thing I did before I started at Corolla was a Euro trip, much like yours, that ended in Amsterdam. So, oh, there you <laughs> So, but I didn't really know the lingo or anything like that. So we finally found a place and I ordered uh, one marijuana, a, please. Yeah, yeah exactly. I one weed, called please. A, called a spliff. And I didn't know this at the time, but a spliff is the marijuana mixed with tobacco. Yep. And I do not smoke tobacco products or anything like that. I didn't realize that that's what that was. And I was just so excited to have this like Amsterdam joint that I ripped this entire thing in about four minutes and proceeded to have one of the worst headaches of oh, my no. entire life and i was just fucking miserable and we were going around an art museum and like i'm in amsterdam but my whole face my head was throbbing oh. but eventually we ended up at the heineken brewery tour which is not where they make the heineken but it's where they like it's essentially it's like their marketing the marketing department tour. Yeah, it's where they do the tour. Right. And the marketing that, department. <laughs> yeah. Like it's, I mean, it's, it's where really they build like tourists for 50 and stuff. Bucks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, you get to like a sample of Heineken where they may as well just like crack it from a can, you know, like it's yeah. not anything special. This but is where we have our conference sort of calls. Point. <laughs> yeah. There's Becky. She's our receptionist. Here's the beginning uh, of the tour. <laughs> yeah. In a so, few minutes, I'll show you the middle and then it will end. <laughs> That's right. Finally, uh, it was while while doing this tour though, it was finally like the turning point in what was a completely exhausting twenty four hours. And uh, in the gift shop, I bought uh, what I thought was a very classy looking beer stein. It kind of looks like like old china that used to be kind of like that blue and white. If you know what I'm talking about. I know that sounded racist, but I'm talking about like the dishware, like your grandma's chinaware from the seventies. It has sort of like a porcelain, light blue, China floral. Weird. Okay. Well, anyway, it kind of reminded me of that, but it's Heineken green, which uh, I like. And uh, like I said, I almost never drink beer out of it, but I thought it would be a good opportunity to break it out. So how's, how's the beer tasting out of it? It's delicious. And again, this is Kalen's favorite, which I just got at Vaughn's. You can really get it anywhere. White, White rascal. rascal. That is Kalen's favorite back when he used to drink. Bush? Well, I'm good. What's He's the A for? Uh, Avery. Avery. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I love that, Matt. 
beautiful, beautiful mug. And lastly, Big G, what you got? All right. So mine is going to be a screen share that I'll fire up now. And this is just a few of the very, very high number of tweets that I've gotten. <laughs> different people who have been ordering chunk nibbles which wow. you can do chunk nibbles.com our fans are absolutely crazy uh this one right here uh, <laughs> Gary. Song. it's pretty good and that's because it's so good and he had to re-up and all that so this is like six or seven of them there i've gone through at least 50 tweets and uh, my cousin hit me up uh personally you know privately and just said the uh, the Wolf Wolf promo code, which uh, that'll get you 10% off. Wolf Wolf, W-O-O-F, W-O-O-F, all one word. That'll get you a 10% discount. He said, and I quote, it's been popping. So uh, <laughs> you, guys, you guys have an email uh, waiting for you, asking for your addresses. He wants to send you all care packages. And uh, yeah. I want to thank everyone out there who has ordered. Um, special shout out to Eric, who is a... Uh, a hardcore fan who we met on the last cruise. He uh, lives in Pittsburgh. He not only ordered for himself, he then ordered for himself again and then ordered a bunch of care packages for different people. Um, I told you guys that they've pivoted their business model a little bit so you can send them to your employees or you can send them to the medical workers in your community and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. And, uh, Eric did something similar. I don't know exactly who it was for. Maybe it was just friends. But regardless, like I want to I want to thank everyone. Um, you know, just a little bit more backstory. You know, this is my cousin who had a very solid, lucrative job uh, in a solid industry that he probably could have stayed in for the next 30 or 40 years, but that wasn't really what his dream was. So he decided to quit that um, about a year before getting married and uh, start this business. And it's a big leap of faith. And uh, the COVID situation has really screwed him up. You know, he's, he was trying to get into grocery stores and stuff like that and he was doing really well but now grocery stores are really focused on getting food you know essential food and toilet paper and paper towels so when yeah. he's calling them up going like hey you want you want some candy like you know sweets whatever it's it's hard to get in the door right now they're they're just focused on other stuff so he's had to pivot his business model and all of you guys who are hitting him up and ordering from uh, chunknibbles.com are really helping him stay afloat and, uh, you know, he got married less than six months ago and it's just, it really warms my heart that everyone's supporting him. So thank you guys very much. Woof, woof. And, uh, woof, woof. Yeah. Uh, I, I love that. And what I've been seeing is he's been writing personal handwritten notes yeah. to the orders too. That's a nice touch. And yeah. you can tell they're real and that he wrote them because he has horrible penmanship. Like yeah. 90% of the dudes I know. Oh, it's awful. I mean, he's a... He's like, a don't never trust a guy who has good handwriting. You just can't right. trust a guy who has good handwriting. Well, he's and he's also busy, you know, and if it's really been popping as much as he says it is, he's got to scratch these things out quick and get them sealed up and get them mailed out because he wants right. to get your junk nibbles quick. So, um, so really, thank you to everyone who's been doing it and to, uh, to the four of you. Shoot me your address and uh, you got a, a sweet little treat coming your way. I'll sell around. it to you right here on air. It's... No. Um, the... Uh, if, and also with penmanship, Dawson, I guess you're not going to have to trust me because my penmanship, I think, is pretty nice. Maybe you're the, the trick. exception. Proves the rule. I don't know. The trick, all caps. I think it's because I spend more time writing, and I, it, it makes me take a little bit longer and, and focus a little bit more. But if I do all caps, that's how I write. Uh, that's how I always write now. It's, it's very, yeah. very legible. But I, I admire nice penmanship. It's like – even like girls with – with good penmanship it, i don't know why but it's attractive sure that's the other thing too you know your cousin could have his wife write the notes and they'd look awesome i'm sure yeah i'm sure they would no but i like that it, it doesn't look that awesome no, and it, it just if it, it's it's a nice message and it's a nice touch that uh no but that's a nice story too and uh thanks to the water cooler people for making it happen we got good peeps here what can i say <laughs> bubble boys <laughs> stand strong <laughs> all right well, I think uh, I think that'll do it for Water Cooler today. Let's get our plugs well, Matt, in. Matt, what's the name of the movie and who's starring in it? Oh. Oh fuck. We All gave right. you ample time. Damn it. <laughs> oh god. <That> so <laughs> lame. I got nothing. I Matt, got you're nothing. in the you're in the pitch room right now. Impre oh, I don't no. care what it is. Impress us. Oh god. Damn. There's no way we could fact check. You could just say a deadly sword, and then yeah, it's called a deadly sword. 
Mm-hmm. Started Gerard. Well, well, now we can pack. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. That's great. A deadly <laughs> sword starring Gerard Butler. Starring Gerard yeah, dude, Butler. That's what I'm working on right now. Perfect. Matt, it's crazy. I told you it was crazy. I- you don't even know. Matt, I am personally offended know. because you couldn't have picked any actor in the world. You are currently sitting on four <laughs> Gerard Butler films that I have assigned you, and I'm sure yes. you watch zero of them, even it's, though we're it's four the research. Before. I'm doing research for the latest movie, A Dangerous Sword, A Deadly Sword. Excuse me, A Deadly Sword. But you're not doing the research. That's my exact point. We're four <laughs> weeks into this. How many of the movies I assigned you have you watched? <laughs> Approximately one. And by approximately, do, I, mean, approximate. I mean it's you close to, to approximate that number. <laughs> yeah, approximately zero. Let me let me round it out. And, uh, one, what's that? Yeah. What's at least? Yeah. What's at least the tagline for the movie then? Uh, On the poster, lick me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go see it. Let's go. All right. Good movie. I think that's enough for Pixel Fun. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's get our let's get our plugs in. Das. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, I got audiobooks out there. The Walrus was Paul, the Great Beetle Death Clues. Um, yes. Please pick it up. Somebody told me that they uh, just got through with it and they loved it. And um, I said, please rate and review it on Amazon. That's the way you are. iTunes, all that stuff. So do that. Look at look for the Walrus was Paul, the Great Beetle Death Clues by R. Gary Patterson, narrated by me. That's right. Nice. I, I, dude, Dawson's killing it in the audiobook game. Make sure you support. Gary, what about you? Uh, Chunknibbles.com and uh, YouTube.com slash Adam Carolla. You can find all the uh, ACS shows we've been doing up there and also Reasonable Doubt every Saturday in video form or uh, check it out as a podcast. Ooh, will do. Kalen, what's up with you? Uh, don't worry about me. I got nothing. Oh, dang. Vintage Kalen. Matt. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Matt Fondelier and uh, keep your ears peeled for uh, a deadly sword coming out later this year. Yeah. Oh, can't wait. <laughs> Somebody can't wait. lick me. <laughs> <laughs> is it better than crack, Matt? Yeah. <laughs> it is. Yes. Maybe that too. Gene Siskel says it's better than crack. <laughs> And How would I he know? Crack. <laughs> I'm just thinking of a movie blurb that I, that's on there. Or, you know, they always put those on there. It's better than crack. Somebody like me, starring Gerard Butler. Yeah, it's all there. I'd, yep. I'm ready to watch it. <laughs> as uh, as for me, um, yeah, just uh, keep tell people about this show. I'll I'll plug this show. I'm plugging the water cooler. Let's uh, yeah, let's tell get people. more people on We're board. On YouTube's. And, and uh, and continue to recruit for the Boba Boy Army. We stand strong. We uh we respect women. Pro puppy. Pro puppy. We're very pro puppy. <laughs> very We're pro puppy. We're still on the fence about juggling babies, though. That may yeah, we have to be resolved in another week. Yeah. I'm pro. I mean, I feel pretty strongly against. Then we we established <laughs> I can juggle. Yeah. But I think I would need three babies. I couldn't do two babies in a bowling ball. We've yeah. also established that. Yeah, I wouldn't count that. Use the also controversial service, rent a baby. <laughs> borrow a baby. Oh, I believe it was no, borrow a baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Alliteration was We're right big on the alliteration. Yes, borrow it's a baby. Borrow a baby, uh, yeah. And then yeah. the acronym is baby, you know? Yeah. Borrow <laughs> dash a <laughs> dash baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this and check out borrowbaby.com. <laughs> Yeah, it's been deteriorating fast. Check, check out so... borrowbaby.com. Tell your friends. Use a promo code woof woof and get a free baby off your first order. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, thanks so Chris's much. This place is going to get raided. He's not going to be in the laxi pad next week. Police will raid <laughs> <it> for, uh... <laughs> doesn't, that place doesn't even exist. All right. Thanks so much for listening. We'll be back next week. Till then, take care of yourselves. We love you and goodbye. Ooh. Ooh.